we do give honor to our esteemed pastor elder, chief overseer, and chef, the Bishop Clary A. Butler, who has prepared this 26th fast day, delicious gourmet dinner for us to eat until our hunger or appetite for the word of God is satisfied. We also give respect Every reverend clergy of every rank and file, as well as all who profess to be under the banner of God, we rejoice in the God of our salvation. For all of you that has joined in this digital church service outside of the bill of brick and mortar. The fact that you have tuned in to our video telephonic call me online. For you, with your God has a blessing for you with your name on it. Just because you could have been a thousand other places or doing a thousand other things. But you chose. Lord, I thank you. You chose to eat of God's word just a little more today and come tonight for your night camp. Before we turn the service into the hands of our very capable moderate. Please allow me to open up with my personal testimony. You may not know me, but as a John Doe, you may not even have a hint of my story. In the year of 1975, like Isaac, I saw the Lord. January the 19th, in a Sunday noonday service, 48 years ago, I and over 42 souls was baptized with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Paraclete, the Comfort, and the Spirit of God all being the same. The glory of the Lord fill not just the house we was dwelling in. The glory of the Lord 
feel our temporal bodies. It was indeed a cloudy experience. I experienced the meal which will be served tonight. It is definitely, adamantly, and unequivocally something that is not just a thing, ever, but it is real. It is certain as we was born we will die. I said that to get your undivided attention. I used to have a sign on the back burner of my vehicle that read, salvation, don't leave earth without it. If you have not experienced the glory of the Lord filling your house, your temporal body, at the conclusion of the lesson tonight, you will have that opportunity. If only you be believe. I caution you as we begin to start the prayer, we are spinning on the altar of your heart. I will call to wish, and I'm going to ask. Dr. Griffin, if he would please unmute everyone online, because I want to hear your voice as we give the call to worship. Yes. Okay. You talking to me? And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, but I feel the Lord present. My Lord Jesus. At this time, we will turn this segment of our service in the hands of our moderator, Sister Lakia Tremaine. Oh. Give not to our chief overseer and to everyone in their respective places tonight. I am again indeed grateful to be here participating in these fast lessons, the Zoom session. 
And just as the bishop said to us, there are a number of places that we could have been. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, and we are here tonight nonetheless. And it is a choice that we made our, on our very own to be here tonight, to get some more, as Bishop Jameson says, some more nuggets to be able to carry us a little bit further on our journey. Now, last night we came into the Zoom room and we learned or we were reminded, I hope we didn't learn, I hope we were simply reminded who we belong to. And knowing whose we are helps us to know who we are, who we are in Christ. And so here we are tonight on our 26th night, 26th day of the fast, ready to go further. And we're going to begin, we're going to open up with prayer at this time by our very own, the General Elder, Elaine Blue. Amen. Surely giving honor to our Chief Overseer and to all that's on the conference call on tonight. We're gonna to ask that you just bow your heads as we go into prayer. Oh, holy and everlasting God, it's once more and again we come before you. Lord God, we thank you for this day because this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done and all that you're going to do. We thank you because you're God and besides you, there is not another. We thank you, Lord, from whence you brought us from, how you've kept us in the name of Jesus. Huh? Lord Amen. God, we just want to say thank you for your mercy that is Amen. new every day. Hallelujah, Jesus. Um, we thank you, Lord God, huh, for how you remember us in our lowest state because your mercy endures forever. We thank you for your word. You said you sent your word and your word healed them. Uh, Lord God, as the word go forth tonight, uh, we're looking for healing in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God, as your word go forth tonight, uh, we're looking for deliverance uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God, uh, we are your people uh, and we are called by your name. Uh, we have humble ourselves. Uh, yes. We're seeking Enough. your face. Uh, we have turned uh, from our ways. Uh, you said uh, if we would pray uh, and seek your face. Uh, well, Oh, yeah. said, Lord God, uh, you would hear from heaven, uh, you would forgive our sins, uh, and you would heal the land. Uh, Lord, we stand uh, in need of healing. Uh, we stand, uh, Lord God, needing you. Uh, yeah. We can't make it without you. Uh, we need you, Lord God. Uh, we ask that you look on everyone that's on this line. Uh, look on those in the Zoom room. Uh, look on those that called in. Uh, Lord, look on each and every one. Huh? We're looking for a blessing huh? yeah. right in the <laughs> word of God. Huh? You said this is the fast that I've chosen huh? to loose the band of wickedness, huh? to undo the heavy burdens huh? and to let the oppressed go free. Huh? Lord, huh? help us. Huh? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God amen. bless the amen. 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 Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We're grateful for our prayer, for our petition to the Lord on this evening. Just a simple reminder to offer up thanks to God continuously, to, to remember the promises that he has given us. And I was taught that it's all right to go to God and to remind him of the promises that he made to us. It's okay. It's kind of how sometimes your kid can come back to you and say, mom, you said we can go to God and we can do that exact same thing. But God, you told me to cast my cares and my concerns in my world. You told right. me to give it to you. I don't have to be stressed. I don't have to worry. I don't have to have a concern in this world or of this world because you told me to bring it to you dear yes. and then we rely on what he said to us we know that we have we remind him of what he did but we know that the promise have been fulfilled time and time again and so when we go to the lord and we petition him we have all that to give to him you said you'll do it i know you'll do it you've done it in the 
past and I'm looking for you to do it again. And that yes. is before you, Lord God. Here on my face right now, Lord God, because you said that you could do it. And so we thankful, we are thankful, we are grateful, dear God, for the things that you do continually and time and time again. I just wanted to throw that in there because as I heard some of the things that General Elder Blue was saying, I, he said that. He did tell us he'll do it. I know that he'll do it. I'm standing on his word. My dad told me, my mom told me, this bishop told me, that elder told me. But I know for myself that God will do it. I know that it's in his word. I know that I can stand on his word. We're going to go a little further on, on tonight. And we have a minister coming for us to bring a, a subject. And I don't know if you looked at it before you got on this Zoom. But I, when I saw the subject, I said, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. talking about the glory, the glory. I already know that I belong to Christ. Now that I get to talk about some of the things that belong to him. So if it belong to him and I belong to him, then we're about to talk about something that belongs to me. So at this time, we have our very own presiding elder Mary Hawkins to deliver our lesson on this evening. Amen. We thank God tonight for our lesson. Lesson number 26, let the glory of the Lord fill this house. Lesson text mm. comes from 1 Kings 8 and 11. So that the priest could not stand to minister because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of the Lord. You know that David wanted to build a house, but he couldn't build it. God told him that one of your sons would do it. And Solomon, he built the house. And he dedicated the house unto the Lord. And the cloud came and filled the house that Solomon or the priest couldn't go in the house. The glory of the Lord. Let the glory of the Lord fill this house. Let the glory of the Lord fill this place. Jesus said, greater works than these shall you do because I go to my father. Now he, he was here for three and a half years working. Then over 2,000 years that he has left here. But we're still carrying his works on. We're still healing and seeing about the sick. So we're still carrying his works on. And say so God's presence and his grace must fill this church. Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah 6 and 3. The field is wide open waiting for someone to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. The harvest truly is plentiful, but the labors are few. In Acts the second chapter, when he said that after we receive the Holy Ghost, we become witnesses. So he said the labors are few. Uh, we can't be in between the four walls. We got to go out. He said go out in Judah, Samaria, and all over and spread the gospel. So here he's telling us to go out and spread the gospel. Let, let, let the world know that Jesus, he is real. He is our savior. And so that let us know that we have a job to do. Jesus say, I came to do the works of the one that sent me. We are to do the works of the one that saved us. And that's to go out and spread the gospel. So God is commanding all men everywhere to repent. For he has appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by Jesus Christ. He has appointed the end. Of, he don't want nobody to perish. But it's up to us. He said, repent. God is sorry for uh, our wrongdoing. I surrender. Oh, I thank God for one day I surrendered and give my life. And I got filled with the glory. When you get full with the glory, nothing else can get in. The glory of the Lord is in you. And when you call on him, he's right there. He will lead you and will guide you in all, all righteousness. The glory of the Lord. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famine and earthquake in various. These things are happening 
today. We can see that wars are wars and rumors of wars and people are hungry, no food. But he said the end is not yet, it's not here today. So if we don't have the Lord, it's time now to get that glory. Ain't nothing like the glory of the Lord. It will lead you, it will guide you, it will heal you. It would, it's, it's all, it's, uh, uh, we can wind you saying some, long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nothing else. Long as we got Jesus, cause he said the battle is not yours, it's the Lord. When we going through things, he's right there to see us through when we going through. And then the, uh, the uh, truth of the spirit said we have long suffering. We gonna suffer on this journey. But if we got the glory of the Lord, he will see us through. So let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Psalm 78 and 19. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen, amen. And two say, we should be held his glory, full of grace and truth. John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh. Jesus came here and he walked among us and dwelled among us. And we beheld his glory, glory as of the only, he's the only begotten son of God. He let his only son come. Oh, the first to have his glory. He didn't want none of us to perish. He came and he didn't only come. He set an example and he went to the cross and he said, I'm going, but I'm not going to leave you comforts. I'm going to send the comforter back. I thank God for the glory today that he said that. I thank God one day that his glory came into me. You know, sometimes you can get a little weak, but you go back to the altar and get your battery recharged. We want to keep that glory because one day he said he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. We want to be ready, ready when he come back for us. And I've born the scriptures, Exodus 49. And I should take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle. And all that is therein, and shall hallow it, and all the vessels thereof, and it shall be holy. This was Moses, and they built the, the tabernacle to put the two tablets in the uh, tabernacle. And God told them to anoint it and how and it to be holy. Exodus 40 and 38. For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all of their journey. So the glory of the Lord was with them. And the cloud by day and fire by night. Believe them, it was on the way to the promised land. But the glory of the Lord was with them. And it followed them. It led them by cloud in the day and by fire at night. And our thoughts for today, Acts 2, 1 and 4. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in the place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with another un 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 tongue. They, they was in that upper room. And they was there for 10 days. They had to get on one accord. And when they got on one accord, the Holy Ghost came in and it fell upon all of them. You know, we be filled with the Holy Ghost and we're the only Bible that people will read. I thought about when Acts the 16th chapter and the 16th verse when Paul and Saul was on their way to pray. And the damsel seen them and she seen that the Lord was in Paul and Saul. And she called on them and Paul rebuked the demon and cast him out. And when he did that, her master was upset because his money maker was not there anymore. He took a Paul and Silas to the masterate and they beat him and cast him in prison. And while he was in prison, they began to sing hymns and pray to the Lord. And while they were doing that at midnight, the glory of the Lord came in 
and loose the shackles on them. And when the God woke up, he's gonna take his life, pause and do yourself no harm. We all are here. The glory of the Lord was with them. The glory of the Lord is with us today. He will see us through whatever we are going through. And said so they was in the upper room when they're up, the glory of the Lord came in and fell up on all of them in the upper room. And they all got saved. So to let us know if we confess and repent, surrender to the Lord, he will come in and he will save us. The glory of the Lord, it's a time now, it's ever been a time that we need the Lord, it's time now. We can see that the world is so wicked now, all these guns and stuff are going on. If ever we need our light to shine, it's now. We need to be out, let our light shine. When they see us, they can see the Lord in us. That somebody will turn and say, I want to come to the Lord. I want to give my life to the Lord. Because he said, whosoever will, let him come. His arm is stretched wide. My God, my God, wide open. He's waiting. He's mm -hmm. waiting for us to come. But as he said, the harvest is great. But the labor are few. We got to get out and labor. Go out. It could be in the doctor's office. It could be at the bus stop. It could be at the supermarket. But wherever we be at, our light shining. That people, he said, we have a light in the world that cannot be hidden. And they can see us and see the Lord in us. And they can we can just pass a little word to them. You know, God is good. Say something to them to discipline a seed in them. Let them know about the goodness of the Lord. God is able to do all things but fair. The glory of the Lord is upon us. If you don't have the glory of the Lord tonight, tonight could be your night. It could be your night to come to the Lord and let that glory come. And the best thing that it ever happened, we sing a song, the best thing that ever happened to me was to receive the glory of the Lord come into my life over 60 years ago. But I thank God for the glory of the Lord because by him being my, my savior, he is my healer, he is my way maker, he is my provider. I never could have made it all these years without him. The glory of the Lord. Let the glory of the Lord come in if you don't have him. And if you have the glory of the Lord, keep him. He said, if you draw nigh to me, I draw nigh to you. We can't get too close to God. We thank God tonight. May God ever bless you. Yes, let the glory of the Lord fill this house. We just were given a lesson about the Lord's glory. If you think of glory, all that should come to your mind is positive things. And God's glory, it is his beauty and his splendor. It is the culmination of his, his attributes, his characteristics, everything that he has, it is all together. It's almost like the, the perfect storm of God. It's everything good about him. Everything about him is good. And then all of that compacted on top of itself is his glory. And so when we come into that, then it, it comes like a cloud. It comes where you can't see his face, but you definitely feel his presence. And it is a thing that is eternal. Man can't say that about his glory. God's glory is eternal. It is always there. It is forever there. And that is why Elder Hawkins told us, she said, sometimes you got to go and get your battery recharged. That's because our glory can fade. But if we stay at the feet of Jesus, if we stay there continually seeking his glory, then we can do just what she told us to do, to go out there and to let our light shine so that we can be an example to others, so that somebody can see God's glory and want some of it too, so that somebody else wants to belong to Christ. God's glory. Let the Lord's glory fill this house. That is what we're here to do. 
That is our mission. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be bringing others into this thing. The glory of the Lord. At this time, you are in the hands of Bishop Haygood. Man, we certainly thank God for the subject and for the preacher dispensing the word of God. Let the glory of the Lord fill this house, his power in his presence. Again, I will hold my remarks and before we turn it into the hands of our bishops, we want to again extend the altar call, the call to the bishops. There may be someone that have not experienced God's glory, feeling their temple bodies but the prophet Isaac looked down the line of time and he knew that you would be here tonight knowing that there's many other places you could have gone but you are here at this appointed time to hear the preacher open up the treasures of heaven and dispense the word of God. How can they hear except there be a preacher? How can the preacher preach except they've been sent? The preacher was sent here tonight that you might experience the glory of God. We're going to ask you to let us bow our heads. As we go and pray for everyone that have come to God's altar. Most holy, everlasting, most mighty and powerful God. Lord God is me again. I talked to you last night. <laughs> I talked to you this morning. And we've been talking all day. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Somebody said, God. Thank you, Jesus. Today. But I'm a witness that I talked to you today. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord God, come on. Jesus. Jesus. Of everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord Jesus, that you will hear my cry. Thank you, Jesus. You will touch everyone from the crown of the head to the sole of their feet. Lord God, you know our okay, Jesus. You know our come on. Thank you. You know our life down. Thank you, Jesus. You know our rights, Lord. Lord, you know whatever we are going through. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord God, we ask you to intervene. Amen. In our life. Thank you. And whatever we need, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. according to your word, 
Lord, according to what you said, you will supply all our needs. And what I like about that, God, not only our needs, but even some of our wants, because you say yes. you'll give us the desires of our hearts. That's yes, a Lord. Lord. But yes, God, Lord. thank you, Jesus. I'm like the little boy that said, Lord, I don't want no peanut butter jelly. I just want my soul. He said, yes, Lord. Jesus. And I believe <clears throat> there's someone out there yes, Lord. that need to repent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And Thank call you. on the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. <laughs> you said they shall. Thank you, God. Thank you. Get up, they shall. He said, God, if you do this, we forever give your name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The praise, the honor, and the glory. And the church say, Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you, Lord. God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. At yes. this time, we're going to open up. For those of our bishops that are online, Thank you, Jesus. they may come forth at this time. I would like to, I, I do want to, to, uh, to. Okay, to Bishop, go ahead. <laughs> and why the other bishops are talking, I would like to yield my time to Dr. Andre Wheatley, pastor of the Orange Church, New Jersey. As the other two bishops come, I would like to doc hear from Dr. Wheatley. You Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank, thank you, you. Jesus. thank you, Bishop Haygood. God bless, Dr. Wheatley. Thank you. You're leaving? Thank you. Good <laughs> evening. Leaving. Uh, do you want me to come before Dr. Wheatley or he? Can... Oh, yes, yes, yes. As he prepared. It doesn't matter. Yes. I do honor all of those in line, our overseer, and for uh, these wonderful days that we have been enjoying Jesus. Um, I thank you, uh, Elder Hawkins. You, you kind of stirred up some stuff in me and made me think of some other things and additional things as you described the glory of the Lord and the manifestation of the glory of the Lord and of his of his uh of his presence. Hallelujah. And I do thank the Lord that when I was 17 years old, hallelujah, I witnessed hallelujah, the glory of the Lord in my life. And I thank him. And I'm going to have one thing I'm going to add to this, Elder Hawkins, that you brought to my attention tonight through the word. Uh, and it comes from Psalms 24, 8 through 10. It said, who is the king of glory? Mm -hmm. The Lord strong and mighty. Mm -hmm. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. If we want to experience, hallelujah, the manifestation of the spirit of God and the presence and his presence, we have to invite him in. Hallelujah. The king of glory. Who is it? And when God fills the house, hallelujah, everybody got to tremble. Hallelujah. Right. The devil trembles when God's presence is there. I don't care who's it's there in this. your temple. When you ask God for an anointing in your bodies and in your churches and everybody is with one accord and the Holy Ghost began to come in and the anointing falls over the church. Hallelujah. Everything. Yeah has to move. Anybody, whether they got it or don't have it, hallelujah, they're going to know that God is present. So invite him in. Who is Amen. that king of glory? Who is he? Glory to God, the Lord, God almighty, strong. Oh, yes. Battle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to stop right now and yield my time, the rest of it, to the other bishops. God bless you, uh, Elder Hawkins. What a wonderful word. Dr. Wheatley, ready? 
<coughs> well, while he's getting ready, Got or it. if he knows, I don't know if he knows that he has been requested to make some remarks, but I would love to hear from him also. Um, Amen. In the interest of time, I, I just thank God once again for another soul stirring lesson on tonight. We thank God for the teacher, Elder Hawkins, and our moderator. Uh, Amen. I'm going to call us to stay good, all right? To God, <laughs> the glory. Amen. We thank God for Bishop Haygood also. And all Amen. The for welcome to the gospel. I just thank God for this lesson tonight. I know God is getting us ready uh, to, to go back with him when he comes. And these lessons... Uh, uh, mirrors to us so we can look in the mirror. I've said it once, I'll say it again. We measure ourselves by the word of God and not by anybody else. What you see, what you like, it's by the word of God. Like your head. Our, our moderator reminded us today. Well, let's go back to, uh, this is one of my nuggets that I'm going to <clears throat> there. We talked about the uh, glory of God. We talked about his magnificence. Uh, this man is awesome, I'm telling you. We cannot find adjectives to, uh, to describe uh, God himself, for his glory. Amen? And Praise so God. I just thank God for this. Let the glory, the glory of the Lord fill this house. Amen. Was the moderator or the, the speaker, one of you said that, or maybe both of you, that if the house is full of his glory, there's no room for anything else. That's right. If, if something else is going on in the <clears throat> house that's not of God's glory, then we know God is not totally there. But we want to get rid of everything. This is one of my nuggets. And, and let's just fill God's house with his glory. Let him, let him fill it with his glory. And when his glory fills the house, it's my Lord. There is no animosity. There is no jealousy. There is no envy. There is no strife. There is no wickedness. There is no evil talk. Amen. No evil spirits because God's glory has what? Filled it. And there's no room for anything else. That's if right. You get rid of everything else. Then, uh, then that's going to make God happy. We want, to, we want to make him happy. Fill your house, God. I know it was a moderator who told us this next thing when she talked about the magnificence of, of God. And then I just wrote my little note here that says that when we are enveloped uh -huh. in everything that is of God, mm -hmm. our lights will shine bright. Now, I heard her say about our lights. And you, do you know why, according to what I heard, what was told to us uh, by Bishop Keith, the reason why they put the 40 days fast on, because the light of the church was growing dim. My Lord. And she put the church on a 40 days fast. And if everybody would get on the fast, then that light would bright. The light that you talked about, Sister A. Good, the <laughs> light that you talked about, we're enveloped. We're, it, it's, everything that we do is encompass of God's glory. And we are examples of him. And, and then our light will shine. And when your light, when our lights are shining, we, when we go out in the world, nobody, you don't even have to tell people you're of God because the light is shining so yes. brightly. They see his glory in you. Amen. And so, you know, I don't know what it is you have, but I want some of that. Amen. 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 Anybody ever come to you and say, oh, you smell good. What perfume is that? A cologne you wear? I'd like to have that because they got their attention and they like what they smell. Am I right? Amen. When we see, this is a nugget I'm telling you. Thank you, Sister Hager, for reminding us that if we envelop in everything that yeah. is of God, the world was going to see our light and they're going to want to come out of darkness yeah. into this marvelous light. Yeah. And when we are encompassed with God's glory, everything is holy. And I, I think I heard Bishop Haygood say that tonight. He recorded the scripture 
I think he was talking about Isaiah, amen. And how when the Lord used him, but when God uses us, our lights will shine brightly. We want the Lord's house to be filled with oh, yes. this glory. Let's get rid of anything and everything that's not of God. And when we get rid of all of these negative vibes that we have, mm -hmm. it will be nothing but love because that's what God told us to do. Love, 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 love. And, and then the uh, our uh, Bishop Haygood told us about the Holy Ghost. See, this is another nugget. The Holy Ghost is, is, is important. Amen? The Holy Ghost is important. I don't know about you, but that's another one of my nuggets that I'm adding to it. I'm going to put the importance of the Holy Ghost. Not that I don't know it, but we want to stir up our few minds. Amen. Amen. Oh, one thing and one other nugget that I think I have, it was this one. We beheld his glory full of grace and truth. John 1 and 14. And it tells us, and the word was made flesh. Flesh. Yeah. Yeah. I heard somebody talking about standing on the word of God. Just stand on the word of God. Now, in the beginning was the word. That's another And the word was with God. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Didn't it say that? And then the word, yes, yes. we're talking about Jesus Christ himself. Saints, friends, let us let the glory of the Lord. Thank you, know, Jesus. His house. Thank oh, you. Yeah. His house. We got to let it. We got to allow it to happen. Am I right? I know. Well, let, and then when you do, we'll get back to <laughs> next. We'll get back to everything will be so hot. I'm telling you the truth. The place gets. Have you all ever been in a meeting like that? The yes. place was hot. Amen. It looked like a cloud of the smoke yes. was all in the place. The yes. preacher couldn't preach. Amen. My I Lord. Know the message you had planned. God told me, yes. I'm speaking today. I'll never yes. I'm in my right mind. And I know you have. So let, let it fill the house. Let it fill the house. And let us let others come into God's house and witness his glory, saints. Praise God. Come on, come on, come on. Let's yes. go. Let him in. Come on, General Elder Wheatley, before I find another nugget. All right? Go ahead, <laughs> Elder Wheatley. I That's see all you. All right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> hey, thank you, God. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. All right, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Wheeler, you're muted. He must be muted. Um, he, he may need someone, the host, to unmute him. Yes, yes. Well, then, Amen. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. Amen. 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 So we're standing Amen. on the word. We're standing on the word. The Lord, Amen. We're letting God fill, letting God fill his house. Amen. And when we are filled with his glory, when we walk into the house, the house is full. Am I right, y'all? There is yes. the glory in the Lord. I'm feeling it. Yes, see we thing. When he gets up, becomes unmuted, y'all let me know. Or Bishop Hagan say that's enough, Bishop James. I will understand. <laughs> yes. I want you to know the glory of the Lord being done means something. Yes. yes. Thank you. I hear you, Bishop Crawford. Yes. Thank you. He's the on. Glory of the Lord. It, I, what I want to say is if we come in with negative vibes, you go ahead, Bishop. You're gonna feel that. You're gonna <laughs> feel it in the house. Am I right? Yeah. You want to feel it when you come in with negative vibes, am I right? But when yeah. you know, yeah, you're you know, right. The Lord, and they were glad when they came in there. Let's praise the Lord. Yes. Everybody yes. feels that good. Yes. I apologize. Yes. The Lord Amen. Let's so tomorrow night, I probably won't say anything. I took up the <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, God, I just feel good tonight because the glory of the Lord is here. Thank you. Thank you. God bless yeah. you, Bishop Davis. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless Praise you. The Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, listen, uh, I, I truly, truly in, enjoyed the, uh, the, the the lesson tonight telling us to, to let the glory of the Lord fill this house. And of course, as, as my presiding state bishop was talking, uh, she, she was tapping on a, a lot of golden nuggets that I was planning on, on talking about. But one thing about it, it's all God's word. 
And uh, as the, the speaker was, was in the discourse of, of her, her message and talking about let the glory of the Lord fill this house, uh, when, when that happens, uh, we, we become re recipient of the, the blessings of, of God. Mm -hmm. And even during these, these fast nights, we can feel and experience the glory of the Lord. And one, one thing Bishop mentioned that sometimes uh, when the anointing is so high, so spiritually high, you can see a cloud, look like a cloud of dust. That's right. Uh, I mean, feel like you can just reach out and touch it. Why? Because it's, it's real. It's real because Jesus is real. It's real because the Holy Ghost is, is real and the power of God is moving doing this 40 days fast. Yeah. Sometimes people we're not even thinking about uh, God is, is touching and God is reaching them. Uh, one, one of the, the, the golden nuggets, uh, Bishop James, uh, she al already spoke on it, uh, but th this, this really touched me and uh, I've read this many times. Uh, but in this particular lesson, in John uh, uh, 1 and 14, it says, and the word was made flesh. And not only was it made flesh, but it dwelt among us and we mm. beheld his glory. His glory. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing to behold the glory, the glory of the Lord. Some way, somehow, it, it encapsulate us. And uh, it is a privilege to be able to witness the glory of God. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes we feel like we can almost reach out and touch it. Hallelujah. And see God's handiwork in the name of Jesus. And sometimes we can do like in the Psalms when it says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. His goodness, his goodness. We, we drink it in. We, 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 we embrace it. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, yeah. And the word was made flesh and dwelt mm. among I'm us. Not. Why? Because he walks with us. He talks with us. He let us know that we are his own in the name of Jesus. And we, we see the manifestation of God. We see him in our prayers. We, we see him even while the fast is going on. Sometimes as we try to push through in the fast, and uh, many of us, we got to take medicine and so on, and we, we we push through, and we can see the glory of God working on us. And oh, so, yes. as the uh, speaker said, "Let the glory of the Lord fill this, this house." How about how about the glory of the Lord fill us right here in our mortal body in the name of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Think about the goodness of God, our hands go up. When we think about the goodness of God, our feet start to move. When we think about, just think about the goodness of God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Knowing that we become recipients of the blessings of the glory of God. Let the glory of God continue during this 40 days fast. This has been some rendezvous. This has been some ride. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some ride to be yeah. here with the saints of the God, of saints of God, seeing folks from all over. Hallelujah. And the word of God is going forth in the name of Jesus. Aren't you glad to be in the number? Yeah. Aren't you glad, hallelujah. To behold the goodness of God. And not only that, as I wrap up, the best is yet to come. Because God is not through yet. God bless you. Thank you for this space. God bless you. I thank you. And thank you very, very much, Bishop, uh, Bishop Crawford, for allowing me this time. Thank you. Bless you. God bless. And we certainly thank God for all of the remarks that have come long after such a beautiful message. Everything that has been put together in such a way, I, I like it because I know it wasn't scripted besides what God already wrote in the plan to happen tonight. I know that you all did not get together and say, and then after you say this, then I'll say this part, and then I'll come back in here. 
but the way that God put it together for us to get tonight, it fell together. And at some point, the light bulb went on for me tonight because I was sitting here and I said, you know what? We, the glory of the Lord has to fill the house, the church. But I keep hearing that the glory of the Lord has to fill this house. And once this house gets full and we all come together with a full house, the yes. God's house is taken care of. The glory of the Lord is in God's house. And I heard somebody say, you got to get full and that way nothing else can get in there. So if we get full and we got a little bit more time, we have 14 more days on this fast to fill up to get closer to the Lord, to draw closer to him and watch as we fill up, watch what happens to God's house. Watch his house be blessed. Watch the glory of the Lord fill the church house as, as we're able to go out into our communities, as we're able to be, as somebody said, whether you're in the grocery store, the doctor's office, wherever you are, you can spill out about the glory of the Lord because that's all that you have in you anyway. So when you open up, that's what comes out. Fill this house, this temple, Lord. Fill this place so that we can do what we were sent here to do. At this time, you are in the hands of our speaker, the presiding elder, Mary Hawkins, for final remarks and benediction. I do thank God tonight for all of the comments and all the wonderful instruction that we received tonight from everyone. We're going to look to the Lord. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost, rest rule and be with his people, his both now and forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let's all say amen. 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 God bless amen. everyone amen. tonight. Okay. God bless you. 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 God